Hi everyone, I'm Michelle from the Face Paint Shop here in Melbourne. I just wanted to do a little bit of comparison between the two new Fusion White Face and Body Paints. There's a little bit of confusion because there is a brand new Paraffin White and a Prime White. So we're going to do a comparison between the two whites. I haven't even opened these yet, we're going to find out together. And we'll just see what the difference is between the two whites and how that works for your face and body painting. Okay, so my first impression straight away is that, uh, first of all, this is a brand new Australian face and body paint, this Fusion Body Art. It looks really nice. It looks, the actual presentation of the containers is a really nice um, effect. They, they look, they're really well designed, which I think is great. Uh, first impressions, so this is the, um, the paraffin white, and this one is the, the prime white. They actually straight away look different consistencies and you can tell that uh, the consistencies are very very different just straight away on first looks. Um, the ingredients are slightly different so they both have the same base which is that signal gum however the paraffin one obviously has paraffin mixed in with it um, so you are going to hopefully get a, uh, a different consistency when we're using it. So let's give it a go and let's um, start playing with it. Okay, so I'm going to start with just a little bit of line work um, just to really get the, uh, the impression. So just so you know, I'm using uh, a tag flat number six um, and I've actually got a, a different brush for each white just so that we can really make sure we can see the, um, the consistencies and the differences. Okay, so I will start um, with the paraffin white. Okay, so loading up. Um, look, it feels a little bit, uh, I think, a little bit sticky. Um, I would say that, no, I definitely have enough water. Yeah, it does feel just that little bit, uh, I think, maybe drier. Um, it loads really easily, really quickly, though, so that's great. I'm getting a really nice colour straight away. Okay, this is just water, by the way, of course. Okay, so first brush work just on my hand for now. Okay, it's a really, really strong colour. Um, I'm straight away getting a really, really nice consistency. It's, uh, it's definitely really strong. It's nice and opaque. Um, it's drying fairly quickly, actually, which is nice. Um, and it's also covering up... Uh, you can see that I had two different lines here. Yeah, it's actually um, uh, covering up those lines, which is really nice. So, obviously, that's... Um, uh, yeah, it's a, a really nice uh, white to work with, so that's awesome. Later on, we might actually try this over and with other colours as well, just so we can see the uh, how that performs there as well. Okay, so straight away, I will try the Prime. Okay, so this is the Prime. I do feel like I'm having to um, work it just that bit harder. Not dramatically at all, but just that little bit harder to um, get the same consistency up and going, just so that I can work with it. Okay, we'll see how um, it goes on the skin. Okay, so it feels just that little bit smoother. It definitely kind of um, glided that little bit easier as such. Um, I'm going to say identical colouring without getting that under a microscope, but yeah, definitely very, very similar colouring and I'll make sure that I keep those brushes separate. It did glide that bit more, so it was, it, the paint sort of spread out that little bit um, better and, uh, and faster. Um, it's that little bit slower to dry though, I'm noticing. So that's dry already and that one is it's just taking its time, just that little bit. Um, which I suppose isn't really a problem. I mean, it's not the warmest today. Um, I would say that this one here, the paraffin, I can feel it that little bit more. Not dramatically at all. I mean, it's still a, definitely a, a great face and body paint, um, but I can feel this one on my skin as it's drying just that little bit more than the prime. 
all in all, pretty good. Okay, so we're going to play with a little bit of uh, more detailed line work now. These are two uh, tag number two round brushes. Um, and these are brand new, by the way, just so that we're really getting the, the best results in our experiment. Okay, so I'll just pop that little bit of water. These are brand new, so I just want to make sure that the bristles are really nice and wet. Okay, so I'll start again with the, um, uh, the paraffin white. So it does feel um, a little bit tacky. It's dry just that little bit. Um, but I'm still getting a, a, a quick brushwork, a, a nice consistency, and I'm getting a nice colour straight away. Um, the bristles are holding the paint really well. Okay, so look, all in all, I am getting a, uh, a fairly nice um, movement. I wouldn't say perfect. But all in all, I mean, not bad. It's certainly, it's not giving me any sort of um, uh, oiliness or tackiness or, or anything like that. Um, it's not perfect, but it's definitely pretty good. Okay, so we'll just try that prime as well. You can really see the difference between the two now. Um, hopefully that's showing up on the screen that this is definitely a paler white. That's a, a much more stronger white is really vibrant. Um, okay, so that's interesting. So the this prime white, um, it's a, it's actually got that little bit softer, and you can probably see my. Well, I don't know if you can see that or not actually, but as I'm pushing my um, my brush into it, I'm not pushing hard, but it is sort of slightly moving just that little bit. Whereas the um, the paraffin over here that didn't do that at all. Okay, so having said that, that's great for base work because it is going to blend in with other colours really easily and, and a lot better. Let's just see how it comes up. Okay, so trying to do a, uh, a similar, just some swirls and stuff happening over here. Okay, so look, I've got to be honest, pretty similar in terms of line work. Um, I mean, obviously that's just a very, very small, uh, quick play around, but it does feel pretty similar. Um, it did glide, oh, I would say just that little bit easier, um, but it's nowhere near as, as strong. That white just isn't quite as vibrant. So yeah, look, interesting, there's definitely a difference. I'd say well and truly worth having both. Okay, so just while we're trying this, um, we'll see how they remove. So these are just some baby wipes from, that we sell here at the face paint shop. You can also get them from LD. Okay, so just straight away, a very quick out of the packet. Let's just see how that comes off. Okay, so first wipe. Um, the prime is gone. The paraffin, yeah, look, pretty, pretty bad. Um, it needs a, another wipe over. It definitely didn't come off quite as quickly as uh, the prime. Let's give it another go over. Okay, there we go, gone. I'm pretty happy with that actually. That's, um, there's no staining to my skin. Not that white normally stains anyway, um, but it hasn't stuck on my skin whatsoever. That's completely quick, easy white. That's just a baby wipe. There's no um, makeup removers or face paint removers or anything like that. I've just wiped off baby wipe. I'd, I'd be pretty happy with that. I'd be pretty happy to send that out to my kids or when working on a job and knowing that's going to come off pretty easily. So yeah, that's great. Okay, so next I'm going to show you just a little bit of stenciling using the two different wipes because I think that's a really great, great way of uh, seeing how the different paints uh, work, whether they, uh, whether they stencil well, if they bleed on the stencil and um, just it sort of shows, I think it's just a really good test. So um, I'm going to use, I'm going to cheat up just that little bit, I'm going to use this black paper to stencil on instead. Um, it won't be a, a true test of how it works on skin, but let's face it, trying to, to stencil yourself one handed is, is very difficult. So we're just going to do it on this black paper instead. 
This is a, uh, a show-offs uh, quick ease stencil um, that we have here at the shop. Uh, this particular one is snake skin. It's one of my favourites. To stencil, I'm going to use a powder puff. These are technically a, a makeup um, sponge, but I love them for stenciling because they're nice and dense. Uh, we sell them here at the shop, at the face paint shop. And they're nice and dense, so they pick up the paint really well. Also, these ones have a nice flat side, so it means that you can get that nice um, flat surface, which is really awesome. Okay, so again, I have two, because I want it to be nice and fair. So I have one for my prime and one for my paraffin. Let's just see how it works. Um, I spray my sponge with a bit of water rather than dip it in because I don't want to pick up all the water. I just want a little bit. Okay, that's a nice even dispersion of water over my sponge. Let's just give that a quick go. You know what, that's actually not quite enough water. It does feel that little bit tacky. We'll give that another go. Okay, that feels better. Okay, so this one is the uh, the paraffin straight away. Keeping my stencil, actually, do you know what? I'll get my, uh, my sponges ready first. So that way my stencil won't move and we'll be able to really compare the two of them. Okay. Um, this uh, prime is, is still quite smooth. It's still, um, whether it just doesn't dry as quickly or what, but it's definitely uh, still quite glidey for lack of a better word. Alrighty, so I've got my sponges ready to go. Let's see how it comes out. Okay, so first impression, sponging with the paraffin white. It's uh, definitely not bleeding, but that could also be to do with the sponge. It's nice and smooth. Um, I am having to go over it to get that kind of a strong consistency colour coming out that little bit more, but that's okay. I mean, I'd probably do that with a stencil anyway. Okay. And now we've got that prime white on the other side. Don't worry, I'll pick the stencil up in the middle in a minute and you'll be able to see it's actually really difficult to kind of do um, around my hand. Okay, so let's see how that's come up. Ta-da! Okay, so having a quick look at it, again, I can definitely tell that the paraffin white is a stronger, definitely stronger white than the prime white. The prime... You know what, it, it has bled just that little bit, but to be fair, that could have easily been me trying to, you know, get around my hand and not doing it as perfectly. So, you know, I'll, I'll put that on me, not the paint. The white on this side on the paraffin is so much stronger though. I can see that that's such a clear, strong white. Whereas the Prime, it's still fine, um, but I would have had to spend that bit more time really getting that colour to come up. And when you're stenciling, you don't really want to do that. You just want to be able to do it. It was faster though. It definitely glided. It was that little bit smoother and it definitely um, was that, that bit faster to apply. So I guess there's, um, yeah, there's, there's negatives and positives on both sides, which is good. I guess another reason to want both. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to just do a little bit of experiment with is um, just what I was talking about earlier, which is how does this paint work um, with other colours, both um, underneath and on top. So again, we have the, um, the prime white on this side. Got the paraffin on the other. I think if you were painting in a hurry, uh, the, the para sorry, the prime, it's probably really great because you don't have to keep wetting it, um, which is a, a really nice sort of um, option just to be able to, especially when you, I mean, not that it really takes that long to re-wet your paints, but you know, everything kind of adds up and just being able to, I mean, cause that's still wet. I didn't have to wet my brush at all. And it definitely stays up a bit nicer. Okay, this is the, um, the Fusion Teal. Uh, there's a whole range of Fusion colors. There's been lots of compliments of some really, really new pretty ones, which is really great. I like to see 
new colours and new things to play with. Okay, so we're just waiting for that to dry. We're almost there. I will say that it's, it's pretty cold today here in Melbourne, so I wasn't expecting it to dry perfectly straight away. I'll just load up uh, my teal in the meantime. We'll have a bit of a play and um, see how it goes. My water is pretty white now, so it may not be the exact colour just because of that white transfer that I'm getting from my water. Okay, it's quite nice actually. This is a really lovely colour. Um, I am needing a, a little bit of a fair bit of water to really get that nice consistency that I like to work with. Um, it just feels just that just that slight tackiness. Okay, let's have a bit of a play. Okay, so just so you know, we stopped filming for just a very quick moment while we helped a customer. So I took that opportunity uh, to actually add another layer each side. So once again, this one here is the paraffin, that stronger white, this is the prime white. You can see that even with a second layer, that prime white is still just that bit softer, uh, just that little bit more powdery. I've also painted on um, just some fusion teal, just down here, just so now we can really test um, how the colours work over the top because it's all nice and dry. Okay, so I'll just load up my, my fusion teal again and we'll see how it works over the top of those two colours. I'm having to uh, put a fair amount of water to really load up to get a nice consistency to be honest. It might just be something that you get used to with uh, every brand of paint. Okay, so let's see how that works. Okay, so straight away, it definitely felt smoother over the prime, which is this side over here. It definitely feels like it kind of paints just that little bit quicker. Um, it glides just that little bit nicer. Um, over on uh, my right side, which is the paraffin, it still works really well. I mean, I'm still getting, I'm not getting any sort of um, uh, mix up of colors or, you know, it's still nice and bright. Um, it's just not as smooth, you know, whereas this was really, really easy just to, to glide my colors over the top. So for anything underneath, I would definitely be recommending the prime white. And then those colors over the top are really lovely. Let's see how it works with the two different colors. Oh, two different whites, sorry over the top of a colour, straight. Okay, so I'll start straight away. Yeah, I'm definitely having to put a fair amount of water into that one. So this is the paraffin. So it's that whiter, definitely a stronger, stronger white. And my tag number two round brush, which is a really nice brush actually, just a nice generic, um, good brush to work with. Okay, so just following on with those white, yeah, look, it's it's strong. I'm getting a really strong white. Um, it's not giving me a, a perfect uh, outline. Like I'm not really getting like an exact, absolute perfect sort of white, but not bad. There's a little bit of, of see-through um, that's bringing up that color underneath. Um, all in all, it's not bad. It's not perfect. Um, it's definitely mixing just that little tiny bit, which is unusual because that cake underneath is dry, but pretty good actually. I, I'd be pretty happy with that. So let's try the other side. So this is the prime. This is, I would gather it's designed to go underneath really. It's, it's a, a really good base. Okay, so doing the exact same thing. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm not getting anywhere near the same sort of whiteness. Um, it's really blending in with that colour underneath and it's, it's not coming up at that strong white at all. However, perfect over here. So I think we really know um, our results and actually that's bled a little bit onto my brush as well and that is dry underneath. So, so I think that those are our results. No, definitely two really good whites. 
definitely designed for two different things. The Prime White, perfect as a base, really quick. I think that using a sponge, I will be able to do, you know, a small child's face in seconds because it's just going to glide on around the face. Um, and then of course we have the Parafilm White, definitely for over the top of other colours, that works quite well. It's nice and smooth. I'm getting a really bright, strong white, um, which is what you want when you're talking about outlining or detailing. Um, but not so great for each other's uses, which is fine. You know, we don't need that. So all in all, good work, Fusion. You've, you've done really well.